Welcome back to Good Day Columbia. We have a special treat this morning. My American Idol favorite <laughs> is in the house with us, a one-on-one -on -one with Miss Candace Glover. Good Hi, morning. Good morning. I'm How so are you? I'm so excited to have you here. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. And you're home for the holidays for mm -hmm. a little bit. Yeah, just for a little bit. bit. Probably about two weeks. How does it feel to have like a little bit of downtime? Um, it feels good. I just got through with like heavy promo in New York wow. for the album. So that was exciting, but I'm glad to be back home. How was New York? I'm sure a big difference. It from was South it was Carolina. crazy. I I don't really like enjoy it too much, but mm -hmm. I know that I have to go there for work. Right. So it was like snow and it was my first time like being in like a snowstorm. Oh so my goodness. In Jamestown, yeah. Did you have the boots? Were you ready? Were you prepared? No, scarf? No. I thought I was ready until I got there, but then I wasn't. Gotcha. Okay, let's talk life <laughs> after Idol. I mean, you, you mentioned you just got back from New York. I know mm -hmm. you've been busy at the Soul Train Music Awards. Yeah. How has life been since May? Um, it's been crazy. Yeah, May seems like it was like probably forever ago. Forever <laughs> ago. Yeah, but it wasn't really that long ago. But I've been doing promotion and the Soul Train Awards with all those mm -hmm. legends and then getting a chance to record in the studio and stuff. So it's been a lot of fun. Oh, my goodness. Great performance, by the way, Thank with you. Ruben. How, I mean, what was going through your mind when you were up there? I was I was so nervous, especially <laughs> since like Gladys Knight was sitting behind me and yes. Ron Isley and Eddie Levert and all, all of the people that I listen to all the time. So... I was really nervous, but I just kind of like took a deep breath, yeah. and Ruben was really, uh, he's like a big brother, so he was really encouraging too. Well, you definitely held your own up there with Thank the legends. Thank you. Thank you. Now, you mentioned a big brother, and I know you and some of the other uh, season 12 contestants were really close, like mm -hmm. Curtis. How's that relationship been since Idol? Are y'all still talking yeah. and everything? All of us are still like in a group chat. There's like okay. 11 of us, the top 11. Mm -hmm. We still talk about different things that we're doing individually, and whenever, like I just put out um, the video and the song, and they've been really supportive, and then like if Angie or Cree or somebody mm -hmm. puts out something we all support so good so y'all still stay connected yeah I know a lot of fans out there myself included wonder do they really talk after yeah the show like or? people think that we're just putting on like a mm -hmm. big fake like we really don't like each other right. but we actually do we, we love each other how is it when you come back and you're with family I mean are you do you get right back into Candace from Beaufort mode yeah okay. <laughs> um it doesn't take me long to turn back into like that different yeah. person but I um I, I enjoy being home with my family and friends, and, and they kind of bring me back to, to mm -hmm. normal. I don't have to, like, sign as many autographs or take as many pictures. So. Gotcha. Now, when you're out and you're doing the promotional things, is it still kind of surreal for yeah. you? I still have to, like, remind myself every morning that I won mm -hmm. American Idol. Like, I'm in New York. I get a chance to take my uh, my parents to New York yeah. like they've never been. My dad got a chance to go to a basketball um, game and sit courtside. So I'm just wow. glad that I get to do different things like that for them. And every day I have to remind myself, like, you want American Idol. Like, you're in the process mm -hmm. of promoting your album and all of that. And, like, a couple months ago, not even a year, I was still working on Fripp Island. So it's been really surreal. Absolutely. Now, talk about your image a little bit because you've lost some weight. Yeah. And, you know, everybody knows I'm trying <laughs> lose some pounds, <laughs> it's a little rough, but you lost some weight and you look great. Thank you. You really do. Thank you. I, um, I tried <laughs> to stop like drinking sodas and stuff. It's really hard. Gotcha. It's really hard, but, um, I eat a lot more, uh, vegetables now, okay. a lot more like baked chicken and mm -hmm. I've had help. Like I had a personal trainer awesome. and I had like a nutritionist and, and stuff and they, uh, like eggs and baked chicken, anything baked, not fried or, mm -hmm or anything like that but um yeah I'm trying to drink more water that's like my biggest thing because I really I hated you drinking like water. water like I don't like water but I know that it's, it's really essential in yeah. losing weight so and how being you, healthy how are you gonna stick to that when we're right around the holidays and you know New Year's we gotta have our collard greens our yeah. black eyed peas and <laughs> I know I my my family like my friends they always try to try to help me as much as they can with that and sometimes I'm like rebellious and I don't really want to do it but I know that it's it's really important, so I just have to try, and maybe I'll take like a little break for like Christmas and New Year's, but yeah. I'll get right back to it. You that doesn't hurt a little break. Yeah, just a couple days. Right. Really right. <laughs> well, I'm so excited to have you here. Thank it's you. Such a pleasure. And when we come back, we're going to talk about the album and the new single "Cried." And if you haven't mm -hmm. checked out the video, we're going to be talking about that as well. Stay with us more with Candace Glover when we come right back.